Well, all good things have to come to an end at some point in time. And today, it's the vent track. She's gone. They're coming around 3 o'clock to come pick her up. So, we did not end up buying it. Um, just, I don't know. We'll talk about that in another video, maybe. Or this one. I don't know yet. But we got the tough cut. The rake. The big finish mower. Bucket. Blower. And stump grinder all here. So, we pressure washed them up last night and it's freezing right now literally freezing cold but yeah a uh, big thanks to ventrack giving us this opportunity to be able to you know test out their equipment use it um it's kind of a long story we ended up having it a lot longer than anticipated due to a lot of things uh one being covid just kind of messed up a lot of stuff um you know the plan was to have it six to eight months and then either we buy it or we give it back to them but with uh, a lot of stuff with covid last year you know we've had it almost a year and a half it's got almost 300 hours on it the uh um the what was i saying oh it's got a lot of hours uh or 300 hours but Where is it going with this? Oh, they, they, uh, so the plan was for us to keep it six to eight months and then we would either decide if they would give us new one, new equipment, stuff like that, or if they would, uh, you know, if we would buy this one, it wasn't supposed to be this machine was not supposed to be a long-term thing but uh you know unfortunately they 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 have to do something with it they can't just let this this one unit be out on loan so they have to sell it get it off this year's books kind of thing so that's kind of where we're at with this um but as far as a new one it doesn't look like we'll be getting a new one anytime soon it is a possibility maybe in the near future uh you know, we, we really enjoyed having it. It was a great unit for us. And uh, hope her well, wherever she may go. So, but thanks again, Ventrack. Really appreciate it. And thanks to the subscribers. Um, if it wasn't, <clears throat> wasn't for the people subscribing and commenting and watching the videos, that one never would have happened so thank you guys for watching our videos we really appreciate it the guys are pretty upset about uh the event track uh you know they're not the happiest about it but i gotta do what's best for us right now and uh so and that being not having the vent track so but the probably the biggest reason I'm not keeping the vent track is one of the, the main reasons why we had the vent track is is for retention ponds. Um, we probably cut oh, 40 ponds a year, 40 to 50 ponds a year. Uh, you know all kinds of retention re retention detention all that kind of stuff you know we, we mess with all kinds of ponds um and i'm slowly getting out of the retention ponds there is money to be made in them but <clears throat> uh it is a lot of handwork it is a ton of handwork even if you have a vent track it's that and your the competition is just it's stupid i don't understand why people charge what they charge why they charge so little for such hard work um i am not gonna beat myself up over trying to get retention ponds. some some ponds we do very very well 
I, whenever I price a pawn, I price it to where we are making money. We're making very good money, 90% of the time. Some pawns, um, you know, I've, I've looked, I look at a ton of pawns. We don't get everything we look at, obviously, but um, it's just one of those things that I don't want to do the handwork. The guys don't want to do the handwork. You know, nobody's, nobody really loves to do the handwork, you know? I mean, it's one thing when you're on flat ground and you're trimming around a tree or, you know, a little ditch here or there, but, but be all day cutting banks and stuff like that. It's just, it's hard work and it's more that, no offense to anybody, but more along the landscaping side of stuff. And that's not where I want my business to go. If anything, um, you know, I want to be, I would like to be doing more dirt work. I enjoy the dirt work more than anything. Um, I love the variety of stuff we do. I like the clearing, I like the brush brush cutting, and I like the, um, the dirt work. The dirt work is probably my favorite, but it's the least, um, the least of it we do. And it is also the probably the least amount of money we make as well. You know, we can we can make a lot more money cutting brush in the same amount of time as I can uh, pushing dirt. Just because we, we got the brush stuff dialed in really good. I mean, we've been we've been doing that for a while. You know, everybody knows what they're doing when we get on a brush job. There's no question of who does what or where to start or anything like that. You know, everybody, everybody's got that, you know, kind of dialed in. So we all work very efficiently in the dirt work, or I'm sorry, in the brush cutting. As far as the dirt work, you know, I, I do enjoy it more, but you know, it's very weather dependent. It's very, um, even then you're competing with the, the retire guy with the 953, uh, you know, who just kind of does it for a hobby, who do it for 75, 50 bucks an hour, or nonsense, stuff like that, you know, but we run into a little bit of that, but, um, so the vent track is just one of those things that, you know, we, we made money with it, obviously, um, but it was a great tool for us. But I'm just kind of at that point where I don't want to be down a retention pond. Willie, Josh, and Mike, I sure don't. And it's just going to kind of help me push out of doing retention ponds. Not saying I'm not ever going to do another retention pond. It's just I'm not going to be out there pushing them like I used to. Um, you know, for a while there, I mean, we were doing them not, not this year, maybe a couple years ago. We were doing once in the summertime, once a week, once every two weeks, something like that, we would do a pond. But, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. But, yeah, I, I do enjoy the dirt work. Um, there, there will be a point where I'm never only going to do one thing. I, I want the diversity of doing the brush cutting. The brush cutting will always be there. The dirt work, I'm hoping, will always be there as the business grows and the clearing obviously the dirt work and the clearing the lots and you know making home sites and stuff like that I, we really enjoy doing that me and Josh both um, Micah not so much Willie um, I mean I think he enjoys it too but Micah likes cutting brush so it's good for me follow me but anyways off to the job and uh yep we got about it's about a four acre mulching job just a little residential home uh yeah, maybe hopefully we can finish it today i'm hoping so we'll get there and see what we can do